Hi guys, welcome back for another video. So as you can tell by the title, today is a follow-up on my last um, favorite AliExpress hair uh, vander. So basically I kind of wanted to give you an update. So if you're interested in knowing how my Ali Annabelle hair has been doing, just continue to watch. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. So if you're familiar with this channel or if you've seen my previous video I posted on this hair, it has been over a month ago that I've been wearing this hair. I posted that video on March 30, on March 13th. Today is April, um, sorry. <laughs> Today is May 21st. So yeah, it's been well over, uh, well over, a month that I've been wearing this hair and last night marks the well last well yesterday marks the first time that I ever washed the hair ever since I had gotten this hair because like I said in that video I do not wash uh, my hair immediately after wearing it before wearing it because I want to get a feel for get a feel for the hair I have been wearing this hair prior to this time so I know kind of what to expect but you never know sometimes you get bad batches sometimes the hair just kind of acts a little bit differently so I wanted to kind of show you guys um, that I'm not lying when I'm telling you that this hair is bomb so yeah this is not sponsored this is just me um telling you about a brand that I like so basically I washed this hair yesterday uh, in the afternoon I let it air dry overnight and this is what um it looks like after it's been completely air dried i let it air dry i just uh hang it on my door and i let it hair dry and as you can see there is a little bit of a pattern to it but it's very slight it's very very slight um a little wave to it no hair that is sold as straight hair is going to be pin straight. If it is, it's probably been chemically um, chem chemically altered or processed to give you that appearance. So natural hair will give you a little bit more texture. So what we're going to do right now is just uh, straighten the hair and show you like how it bounces back. Um, you know, once it's straight. The only, the one and only product I use on my extensions is this one right here. Focus. I don't know if you can tell what it is. But this is just the Argan Oil of Morocco. Renewing plus Argan Oil of Morocco. Penetrating oil for all hair types. From Organics. This is great. Uh, a fellow YouTuber told me about well she didn't tell me I saw it in one of her videos I think her name is Sophie from Sophieology Sophieology something like that <laughs> she does hair reviews and she was talking about how this oil is non-greasy and really penetrates the hair and gives it like a shiny healthier look without you know looking greasy or heavy so ever since then I've been using it and honestly that's the only thing I used before that I was using the um, bio silk uh, hair gel type of serum and I felt that maybe the chemicals in that product kind of dried out the hair it looked shiny for a bit and then it looked dry and funny so I stopped using that, and that product is also expensive. This is super inexpensive. You can find that at your local drugstore, even beauty supply shops. So that's the first thing I would do. Start from underneath because you don't want most of the product to be on top because it's just going to be too much. Then whatever's left on my hand, I put up top. And I, I get my handy dandy hairbrush. I like... I like detangling brushes like these. This one is a goody hairbrush, go curl. You know, type of wet brushes. Brushes that are not too tight so you can like easily just uh, run through it. So I haven't touched the hair ever since I've washed it. This is the first time that I am manipulating the hair. I also wash the hair with the same thing all the time. I use Tresemme. Uh, botanics line the botanic line it's like green and 
white smells amazing and it really moisturizes the hair I do not use shampoo on the hair I only use the conditioner I let it sit in the conditioner for a while rinse it in hot water and rinse it till everything is gone from it I don't want to leave product in it too much because I don't want to weigh down the hair because it's straight hair if it was curly hair I would leave a little bit of the conditioner but this is straight hair so this is how soft the hair is and this is how much shedding I got from detangling the hair just a few strands so that's great that's awesome and that's what the hair looks like after being washed with a little bit of a moisturizing serum so the hair is not dry remember um, extensions do not grow from your scalp so they're gonna need a little bit of help in the moisture department otherwise they'll be dry and since I do put a lot of uh, hot tools on it it will tend to look drier than normal the ends a little bit rougher than they were but that's normal because I straighten and curl the hair back and forth like sometimes I want to wear it curled sometimes I want to wear it straight so I do use hot tools on it pretty frequently so I like to start with the back and I'm gonna show you how I straighten it really simple it straightens really really easy this is a bad straightener I'm gonna need to get a new one soon but for now it works all right so that's one side of the hair straightened that literally took me five minutes because the hair is so soft you can just go over it quick pass I always start from the back going to the front the top here in order to have it lay flat when you dry it make sure that you clean up the part like nicely and have it dry so the part can lay flat so that it doesn't puff up and it will sometimes puff up still so I can either take my flat iron here on my part or my curling wand I'll show you just a um, curling wand like this it's not on but usually it would be on and I would go pull the hair flat go on the part even the back making sure that it lays flat and it will lay flat so that's one trick but I had had it lay flat uh, all night so it's not so poofy but this is what the hair looks like pretty much just like new I'm gonna attack uh, the side and I'll be right back If I had a good flat iron, I'm pretty sure I could just do one quick pass, but my flat iron is kind of whack. So always go with the out inside layers first before moving on to the outer layers, because if you start from the top, you might miss some that's under and it might look bulky. So to make sure you're going to have like a very flat look, start from underneath. If the hair is not so straight and it's really wavy, make sure to start from the root because the root can give you like a bulky look. But I know that my roots are pretty straight so I don't have to go all the way up. And just go down because most of the wave is at the bottom with this hair. So as I'm reaching the end... Sleep the hair in case. Okay. 
and catch like all the hairs you think you might not have caught. Ow. Well, I think they're all, they're all there. Bring the hair forward. I might have missed a few spots because I honestly can't see anything. For the most part, it looks pretty straight. Um, after I do that, honestly, my next step would be to check the ends. If I feel like some of the ends are already looking a little funny, I will trim them. So, I'm going to stand for you guys. And give... Remember, this is 26 inches long. Um, the ends are not bad, but they could be better. I don't know if you can see that. So I might give it a little chop. For that, you want to use a comb because you want to be as precise as possible. I can't even see what I'm doing, guys. But usually I want to check like where it ends, how I feel about the way it ends. If you can see it better on my wall like this uh, I wouldn't cut all of that but I like you see it as how it goes into an angle I might just follow that angle and just cut it more even Now my ends look healthier and better. I want to do the same thing on the other side. See how my comb is going through so easy. <laughs> so you go. I'm going to lift it up. Well, this one has a lot more hair, so it's not going to look the same as the other. pieces here let's see them that's what they look like same thing be careful don't cut too much because this hair doesn't grow back <laughs> it only gets shorter from here that's why I, I, I like to get longer lengths I have hair all over my bed see how unprofessional I am but yeah so that's it guys that was my review a month later of me wearing the hair i've only washed the hair once my trick to keeping your bundles looking fresh is not to overwash it overwashing it which will strip the hair from its moisture and doing that yeah it's gonna cut the longevity of your hair a lot shorter a lot more dramatically so don't wash it too much uh, when I know to wash it is when the hair doesn't move as nicely and it kind of gets stuck and even if I straighten it and I get my hands through I can feel a little bit of resistance and the feeling of the hair is a little bit um, textured I know that it's time to wash it because there's too much dirt and gunk in the hair that doesn't allow it to move to flow and to feel nice that's when you wash it uh, sometimes you can get that feeling and just brush your hair out and flat iron it and it'll be back to normal always try to um iron it before and you see how it feels if it still feels like crap wash the hair for me it took me about a month of wear to need to wash it remember uh i do not like to sleep in my units just to preserve them um i don't know if you're in a relationship or whatever maybe you don't want to be like just bald looking i mean with your braids or whatever but i mean I'm single so it's not a, a matter for me but um yeah just I feel like it just preserves the hair a lot better um and yeah so this hair is amazing um I might do a 
third video and the final wear time when I decided to not wear her anymore. Um, I honestly was thinking of doing uh, something with some blonde in it. So if you see me changing my hair, it's not because this isn't good anymore. It's just because I feel like doing something different for this summer. And summer is approaching like very fast. So yeah, I might switch it up on you really soon. But yeah. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, if you want to know more about hair, if you want to know more about me, um, I would advise you to subscribe because, yeah, I'm, I make videos here and there. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon. I just want to give you an up close and personal of the hair. I don't know if maybe I was too far or like, let me see. Maybe I was a little far. Who knows? Uh. Uh. That's what the hair looks like. Oh, if you can see it. Nice. <laughs> All right.